let's now start with question number two of exercise 9.3 so let's do the first part so we are given with first expression and second expression and we have to write its product so you can see that we have first expression as a and second expression as a trinomial term so trinomial term ko apne kya karna hai? it must be in bracket and you have to now find the product of it so a ko b ke saath multiply karoge to your resultant will be a b a ko c ke saath karoge it will be plus a c then a ko d ke saath karoge it will be a d so the final product is a b plus a c plus a d let's do the second part second part we have is x plus y minus 5 into 5xy so 5xy ko aap x ke saath multiply karoge to aapka 5x square y ban jayega 5xy ko y ke saath multiply karoge it will be 5xy square aur 5xy ko 5 ke saath multiply karoge it will be minus 25xy aur ye dhyan rakhna ki yaha pe minus hai ek minus aur ek plus it will be minus aur 5 into 5 is 25 x ek bar hai, y ek bar hai. So this is your answer. Answer is 5x square y plus 5xy square minus 25xy. Next is, third part is p into 6p square minus 7p plus 5. Ab aap kya karoge? p ko multiply karoge. 6p square ke saath. So it will be 6p cube p ko multiply karoge 7p ke saath 7p square last one will be 5p fourth part we have is 4p square q square and in bracket p square minus q square ab aap kya karoge 4p square q square ko p square se multiply karoge p kitni baar hoge aapke paas 4 times q kitni baar hai 2 times ab isi term ko jo aapki monomial term hai usko aap minus q square se multiply karoge so this will be minus 4 p square q raised to power 4 so this is your answer for the fourth part it is 4 p raised to power 4 q square minus 4 p square q raised to power 4 then we have the last one which is a plus b plus c into a b c a plus b plus c into a b c a b c ko aap a ke saath multiply karoge this will give you a square b c then aap a b c ko b ke saath multiply karoge it will give you a b square c a b c ko ab aap c se multiply karoge to c mein change aayega and it will be a b c square so your answer is a square b c plus a b square c plus a b c square now we will move on to question number 3 